<laughs> yeah. I think I did, eh? <laughs> Hi everybody, today we're back in Keswick and we're going to do George Fisher Espresso Tea Round and I think it takes us to Cap Bells, um, Causey Bike and then a big loop, kind of end up in Braithwaite then loop back to the George Fisher shop in Keswick hopefully, I think it's about 3,000 feet of climbing so that's a decent day out, a bit in the pasty shop in Keswick to get one of my favourite pasties. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> we did um, Fairfield yesterday and there wasn't much in the way of views once you got up on Fairfield. We're not going as high today so hopefully it's a bit better. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. And flexing with his naked hundred number on his back. Says Cap Bells ahead, so we'll be going up there. It's not the biggest of summits, is it really, Aaron? That one Cap Bells? What's a few of 400 meters or something? A bit of a scramble at the top. To see the tree again, you can't see Skid but it's over there. And then Catra. Beautiful. That's where we're and then and the next one must be causing <coughs> and then we'll drop. And I think that's barrel on the other side there. And then we just run down that ridge. Let's go the breath with. Yeah. Valley. Yeah. That was great, lovely view, very lucky. 
it's quite a cloudy day but clouds are a bit higher than what we are I can see your builder's bum there I don't know where the cord's gone in these shorts but they're not there anymore so they're not so bad going up but when you're going down they progressively start wanting to go around my ankles <laughs> yeah. I think I did, eh? When we get up there, that's uh, pasty time. So in the clouds over there, you got Robinson, I suppose. And then you can't really see it, but that'll be Dale Ed up further on. And obviously you've got Cap Bells. Just see the tree again. You can't see Skidor, but it's over there. And then Catra. Looks really om ominous, quite grey. So after leaving Cap Bells, you head down to Newlands Valley. It's slightly residential, and you've got a short and sharp climb up to Rolling End, a long sleet house, I think it's called, and then the scramble up to Causey Bay. Right here on the top of Causey Pike. Do a nice 360. A bit hazy and misty, but can't argue with those views. There. And we're heading that way. So we'll drop down on Causey Pike. Oh, what's that one called again, Aaron? Barrow. Barrow, and then down into Braithwaite. And then a screaming fast mile run on the tarmac to uh, back to Keswick.
picture perfect on the surface All these illusions that we worship I see the walls, see the walls coming down I hope someday we'll build them up on solid ground Consequences go unnoticed Like the weight that's on our shoulders Pulling us down, pulling us down But we don't know it Or maybe we do But just like the truth We never show it We don't need my money Cause money ain't the problem, baby What are we becoming? Cause we lost more time Than we'll ever get back towards breadth, weight and point and scale. We'll get your debit card out and go into the chalet when you go through point and scale and you won't be disappointed. And then super simple over the bridge, through the field and into Keswick past Kong Adventure and then finishing up at the George Fisher Shop. Somewhere within, under the skins where you hide. We need more than cunning. Words that don't solve nothing. We're off the fells now, and we are Braithwaite just there. Don't actually go into Braithwaite. Uh, we're just skirting around it. I think, according to the watch, we are still on the right track. Um, so yeah, let's kick on to Keswick. It's a George Fisher espresso round done. About 12 miles, like I said, 12 miles, over 3,000 feet of elevation. So pretty, pretty good. Hope you enjoyed it. I thought it was stunning views. Um, if you did enjoy it, give it a like. If you think somebody else might like it, then give it a share. And uh, what's the next one? If you want to see more content from the Outdoor POV, uh, please subscribe. You take care. See you all soon.